Hi guys, so let's see how we can uh, push our project from VS Code to the GitHub repository. So on my local machine, this is the project we are going to push. So this is uh, a Maven project. So any other project which we need to push from VS Code to the GitHub repository, what you have to do is you need to uh, get all the files in a folder first. Okay, so currently I have all the files available in the uh, same folder. But in case if you have multiple files uh, at different location, uh, first thing is get all those files in a folder. Okay, so we need to import that folder into the VS Code and then we can push that to the GitHub repository. So first let's see how we can uh, open that project in the VS Code and then we will push that project to the GitHub repository. So go to the file, click on open folder, then go to the location where that project is available, then click on select folder. So all the folders, subfolders and all the files in that uh, folder will be open in your VS Code editor. So let's close this window. So now let's first uh, create the GitHub repository. So sign up on the github.com and log in into your account. Then uh, click on this plus icon. Click on new repository. So you can provide a repository name here. So I have given name as my VS Code project. So I will keeping this as a public repository so that it will be accessible to anyone. And uh, directly click on create repository. So currently this is a empty repository. So in this repository we are going to push our project which is available in our VS Code. Okay, so for that purpose first uh, copy the URL from here or same URL you can get from this HTTPS. Just click on that and copy this URL. Now go back to the VS Code then click on source control. So currently we do not have any uh, local repository, local git repository in the uh, project. Okay, so we need to create a empty git repository first. So we can click on initialize repository. Okay, so if you go to the local machine, this dot git folder is created, which is a empty one as of now. So we need to push all these files first into our local git repository and from there we need to commit uh, and push to the github repository. So currently all these files are not a part of our uh, local git repository. So first we need to commit this into our staging area. Okay, so click on uh, plus icon here. Okay, so all these files are into the staging area now. So now we can commit all these files into our uh, local git repository. So here we need to add the commit message first. Let's say my, okay, this is my commit message and you can click on commit. Okay, so all the files are committed into our local git repository. So we just need to push those uh, files from local git to the remote repository. So now click on these three dots here, then go to the remote and click on add remote. Okay, so first we need to add the our uh, remote repository information. So I will, uh, we have already copied this URL, right? So I will add it here. Click on add remote. So we need to provide the remote name here. Hit enter. Okay, so remote has been created. Again, click on three dots. Okay, so we can directly use this option pull, push, clone over here. Okay, so before using this option, you will get error. Okay, so if I try to click on push, it will give you some error. Okay, so I will show you how to overcome this error as well. So as of now, just click on three dot first, go to the pull and push, and click on push to. So here I will have to select the which uh, remote git repository I want to push this project to. Okay, so currently we have only one remote git repository, right? So I will click on that. So for the first time it will ask you to enter your uh, GitHub username and password for authentication. So I have already authenticated this so it has not asked me any username and password authentication. Now go to your remote GitHub account and refresh this repository page. So you can see here all the files from our local git repository are available into our github repository now. So now we can uh, make any changes to your local files and you can directly push those changes to your remote repository. So for example, in this file I will, I will add some comment here. Okay, save it. Again go to the source control. So it is showing one file has been changed. So I will click on plus icon. So this file is available into our staging area now. 
so give some message here you can directly click on commit and push okay so again it is going me that error so i will again go to the three dots pull and push and click on push to select that git remote and within few seconds our changes will be pushed to our remote repository so okay and same we can pull the changes from this github repository to your uh, vs code as well so i will edit this file first let's say changes from github commit changes okay so i want these changes to my vs code project okay so i need to pull the uh, changes from the github right i can fetch it and i can merge it or i can directly pull the changes okay so if i directly try to use this option pull again it will give me the error okay so in that case what you can do is click on three dots again go to pull and push and uh, click on pull from okay again select the remote select the branch from which you need to pull click on the master and within few seconds changes should be available over here okay so this is how you can push your project from vs code to the github and you can pull the changes from the github to your vs code project okay so to enable all these options to be used directly what you can do is i will uh, click on this icon publish branch okay if i click on publish branch that means it will set our uh, remote reference to our local reference okay so i have published my branch so i can directly let's say second okay so i have made some changes into this file from the vs code so i will give let's say third commit okay so i can now directly use this commit and push let's try yes i would like to stage all the changes and commit them directly click on yes so now it has not shown me that error it was previously showing right as we have published our branch so let's verify that okay so changes are available here so again let's try to make some changes from the github commit changes go back to the vs code so this time instead of using this uh, pull from i will try to use this pull directly so as we have published our branch it will directly pull the changes so this is how you can uh, push your project from the vs code to the github repository thank you